Hola a todos. Hoy vamos a aprender cómo usar la herramienta GoAnimate. Um, so, this is a really great site that you can use to make um, short cartoons. So, today we're going to just um, I'm gonna show you how to use the site uh, very basically and then be able to send your videos um, to me. So, we're going to start off. Um, it's a free site, so you don't have to pay anything, which is great. Um, there are upgrades that are available that you pay for that give you more options, but we're just going to stick with the free site for today. Um, so you would click sign up. So you're going to go to goanimate.com, um, which I'll also attach in, is attached in the email. Um, and you're going to fill in your email address, your the name you want to display in your account, password, etc. Um, and since I already have an account, I'm going to log in. Um, so I'm just going to log in, and I have a previous video here that I created, okay, um, and it's going to show videos that you've made, and it's going to give you the option to make a video. So you're going to click make a video, and it's going to bring you to the screen here um, that has options. So you can make a video from scratch, um, however, it also gives you themes and templates, which is the easiest way to go. Um, some of them you can't use if it says business executive or $59 per year, those uh, you can't use. But anything else is good. So um, we're going to choose, you can choose anything you like. There's cartoons, anime, uh, Little Pets World, there's wildlife, stick figures, ninjas. Uh, I'm just going to go with classic here, so cartoon classics. So we're going to click make a video. Um, so it's going to bring us to the screen here. And you can essentially choose characters, text, backgrounds, props, sound, effects, etc. Uh, you can make yours as fancy as you like. I'm going to show you how to create something very basic right now. Um, so I'm going to start off just choosing a background. So you have all sorts of backgrounds here. Um, since we're in the food chapter, I'm going to pick something that is similar to uh, what we're looking at. So this is a cafe. Um, so pick the background. And then now I'm going to choose, okay, um, and you, you do have the option too if you want, oops, okay, you do have the option too uh, to change your background throughout, okay, using um, the screen down here. I'm not 100% sure how to do that, so if you figure that out and would like to, that's up to you. However, um, I'm just going to stick with basic one scene for the, for the film. Um, so we're going to insert characters here. Now you have different options of things you can insert. I'm going to choose uh, this one here, which kind of looks sort of like a waitress. Um, and so we can move the character around, put her where we want. Um, we can also switch her around. So this flips her around. This puts her behind. Okay. Uh, if there's something here, like if she were in front of the bench, for example. Oops. Um, you can also move the background around as well. Um, so if she were in front of the bench, right, I could put her behind the bench as well. Well, supposedly. However, we're going to stick, uh, we're just going to stick with this for right now. So we have her, um, and you can kind of move the tables around as well. Um, get them where you want to be. Now, okay, so now, we have we, the ability to add emotion, okay? So we can um, click enter, movement, exit. So we can click enter, okay? Um, and you can choose the settings. So how long you want it to last, okay? The delay from when it starts, et cetera, et cetera, okay? Um, and then you have the option to give that person a voice. So we have a couple of options, text-to-speech, mic recording, or file upload. Uh, you can record if you like, if you have a microphone. Uh, text-to-speech is also pretty easy, and I'll accept that. Um, so you can just put in what you want them to say. So I can say, hola, me llamo Josefina. Um, ¿En qué le puedo servir? Right, um, and then we're going to pick the language. So obviously we're picking Spanish. So we scroll down, 
like Spanish, um, and you can choose the voice you want to give it, since these are computer recorded. So I'm going to give her Violeta. Okay, now we're going to add voice. Hola, me llamo Josefina. ¿A en Cuba le puedo servir? Okay. So it's not always 100% accurate, and that's okay. Um, you'll get more accuracy if you choose to record with a microphone. If you have a microphone, that would probably be um, the better option. So uh, you can choose actions, okay? You can choose, you can make them lean in. She's having a really bad day right now. Um, you can choose desperate. She's freaking out. She's not happy, okay? She's having a real bad day. So you can make these as funny, as crazy as you want, obviously, as long as they are appropriate uh, for the class. So you can choose actions. Um, I'm going to stick with happy. She's had a very good day. Um, and now we're going to click exit and we're going to see if we can add another character. Uh, let's see here. Let's add this guy right here. He's not having such a good day. Okay, we're going to put him on the chair. And, okay, um, we're going to add a scene. Okay, so this is scene two, so we have scene one where she comes over and asks, okay, um, and now we have scene two. So we're just going to say, okay, um, oh, where'd that go? Oops. So you need to make sure you click on him to make sure you give him a voice. So we're going to say, hola, um, yo quiero pedirle, um, Una bebida, por favor. Okay. Hoy es hoy no es un buen día para mí. Okay. And since it's a male, we're gonna give him. I don't know. We'll give him Leonor. And add the voice. Okay? Hola. Yo quiero pedirle una bebida, por favor. Hoy no es un buen día para mí. Okay? Um, and we can give him actions too. Okay? So desperate. So he's had a bad day. She's really happy. Okay? It's a little bit extreme. However, um, that is what you're going to do. So once you have your video created, okay, you're going to go to... Okay, now you can click on scene settings for options, narration to add a scene, composition. Um, you can get you can get super technical with it if you want. You can add props. Okay, um, let's see here. You can add I don't know. Let's see here. You can add some cards. Put them on the table. Okay. Um, so whatever you want to do, you can add sound. Okay, you can add action. Um, let's see what this is. Okay, so you can add sound effects if you want. You can add effects. Okay. You can turn them upside down. You can turn them right side up. Okay. You can make clouds happen and come down. Okay, you can make curtains open. So many things you can do. Alright. So, once we've finished, we're going to click Save. Ah, before that, what you can do is you can preview it. Make sure you like it. So we're going to click Preview. Okay. And we're going to watch it. Hola, see what happens. Me llamo Josefina. ¿A en Cuba le puedo servir? Hola. Yo quiero pedirle una bebida, por favor. Hoy no es un buen día para mí. Okay, so all of those things saved, which make it kind of crazy. So we don't necessarily want to have... Uh, all of those effects. So we can, okay, get rid of the music. Um, so just down here, we click on it, remove sound, okay? Um, and if we want to remove, for example, the effects, okay, um, we can do that as well, right? So, vamos a ver. So now we're going to click preview again and see. Hola, me llamo Josefina. ¿A en Cuba le puedo servir? Hola, yo quiero pedirle una bebida, por favor. Hoy... Okay, 
Since that, so that didn't go away. So, um, almost all good. So in order to get rid of the sound effects, you're just gonna click on each of these little wands here, okay, and just click delete if you don't want them there. So delete and delete. All right, so now let's try again. Preview. Hola, me llamo Josefina. ¿A en Cuba le puedo servir? Hola, yo quiero pedirle una bebida, por favor. Hoy no es un buen día para mí. Okay, so if we like this, all right, obviously yours will be better and longer. We're going to click save, give it a title, okay? Um, entonces, el mal día, uh, mejor dicho, el día malo, okay? Um, you can add tags, a description, and then we're going to click, um, we want to make it public, okay? Make sure you do that so that you can actually share it. So you're gonna click save and share, okay? And it's going to give you these uh, different options here. So export your video, uh, you can export it to um, YouTube or you can embed it or share the link. So what I want you to do in order to send this to me is um, I would like you to you have two options. One, you can, um, so you can't, well, actually, actually, only one option because this is for subscribers only. So what you're going to do is you're going to go where it says embed code, okay, and you're going to click here as we did, as you all did before with the project, and you're going to copy and paste the embed code and send it to me in an email. Um, and then I'm going to put your videos, okay, on the class blog so that you'll be able to see all of them. So, uh, once you've done that, you just click on the embed code, copy and paste, and send it to me. And that is all. If you have specific questions, you feel free to email me or let me know. Um, but it's a pretty simple site to use, and you can make it uh, pretty fun and enjoyable.